I wanted to do something a little more creative, something that would uh, inspire me. And I never thought that I could do something that would make me truly content. And usually when I built things, furniture, doors, windows, whatever, I uh, can't wait to get them out of the shop. But once I started carving, it was a, a whole, whole different thing. Well, I've always been inspired by the First Nations work, and uh, my early days in uh, BC were out of Prince Rupert in the Coast Guard, and uh, we went all around the Charlottes from Vancouver Island up to Alaska, and I was very impressed with what I saw, and uh, it just stayed with me. Well, I'd been given some, um, some tools by uh, some First Nations people. They sat in my drawer for over 20 years. Yeah, it was. Yeah, a good 20 years before I actually started using them. I guess being a woodworker most of my life, I, I just have a, a natural feel for wood. And uh, I think with that ability of, to work with the wood, I had an understanding how to sort of get into carving, but uh, I didn't have any tuition at all. It was just uh, work it out as I, as I went along. And uh, I was really surprised at what I was able to do and uh, how much pleasure I derived from that. The way I get started, I have to have an idea initially of what I want to do. And uh, I research, look through different books. Uh, maybe I'm inspired by something I've seen at the Museum of Anthropology or at a gallery. And, It'll give me ideas, and then I come home, and uh, I start drawing sketches. And finally, I come up with a design that uh, I'm happy with, and then I'll reproduce from that design full-size drawings. Once I have that, then I can go out and find a suitable piece of wood and um, transfer the design to that and uh, start making um, sawdust. A mask usually takes um, two, two weeks. Sometimes I can finish them sooner, and sometimes they take much longer, depending on the amount of detail and painting and hair and teeth and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't know that there's a, a favorite part. I, I, I guess towards the end, when I'm doing the final knife work on a mask, I really enjoy that. I enjoy the detail. I've tried to analyze what it is. I've got uh, one mask, the, the, the uh, Torito girl, I call it, and uh, I, don't, I can't figure out what the hook is, what it is that I get out of it, what makes me feel the way I do, but uh, that one, the more than anything else, just I like it, makes me feel good. Don't want to part with it. Well, the unique thing about that is the Torito wood itself. It's a wood that most people will discard but uh, I, I like it, I find it really interesting, and so I came up with the idea of trying to work it into my masks, and I, I like liked the end result a, a lot. It's very, very unique, and I knew I was onto, onto something. I've always had art around me, even as a youngster, I would have something hanging on the wall, or be having, having a book on, on art. I, I've got to surround myself with unique and beautiful things, so it's been a big part of my, my life for a long time, and being able to create something that feeds me inside, makes me feel good, is, uh, is a wonderful thing.